Bandwagoners, a person who takes part in or becomes enthusiastic about something only when it is popular or fashionable. Bandwagoners are especially prominent in the MMA community, given the unpredictable nature of the sport. Fight fans are often criticised for being fickle, stupid or disloyal, but I would disagree. In this video, I will be discussing the nature of fight fans and whether or not bandwagoners even exist, with an especially keen eye on the case of Israel Adesanya. During his ascendancy, everywhere you looked you would find people being complimentary towards Adesanya, calling him funny, witty, a great striker, a warrior, to the point where people were already comparing his style and his dominance to Anderson Silva. But one fight, in particular, changed it all. A huge dip in popularity happened after Izzy's fight with one man. And it's not Yoel Romero, it's actually Robert Whittaker. During the lead up to UFC 243, there was an increasing amount of distaste towards Izzy due to his rather uncharacteristic verbal onslaught on Whittaker. The hate was rising, and the majority of the MMA community was rooting against Izzy. But when the fight happened, well, Izzy danced out and he completely dusts Whitaker. The haters sit there in silence. So, everybody hops back onto the bandwagon, say they knew it would happen all along and everybody loves Izzy again, right? Wrong. The fans don't forget. They just lose their grounds to speak on. To illustrate this point, I've taken a series of screenshots. The first set of screenshots is from the UFC 243 pre-fight presser. The second set is from Izzy's walkout dance video following UFC 243. And the third set is that very same video but posted during the lead up to UFC 253. In the first set, you can see the animosity towards Izzy beginning to rise. In the second set, there are no haters to be seen. And in the third set, well, every single top comment was a hate comment. In the blink of an eye, a walkout can go from scary confident to corny and cringe. But what happened here? Did all of Izzy's fans jump off the bandwagon and turn their backs on him? No. The spark of hate was lighted pre-UFC 243, but seeing as Izzy emphatically won, the detractors would have no grounds to speak on. But after Izzy had a lackluster fight with Romero, cringy back and forth with Costa, and dyed his hair pink, the haters would have all the ammunition they needed to fire shots at him, culminating in this complete 180 in public perception. But that's just the fight game. Right now the MMA fanbase is split on Adesanya. One half is loving what he's doing, while the other half is hating it. But the fans never forget. First impressions are a big thing. Although somebody like McGregor has always been a troublesome person, I always seem to find myself rooting for him and hoping it turns out well for him. Even when Connor is acting out and being an idiot, I just can't bring myself to jump ship, and I'm guessing a lot of you feel the same way. No matter how objective we try to be, we're only human at the end of the day, and we can't expect ourselves to always cut it down the middle. In October, Arasanya tweeted, A year ago today was UFC 243. Shout out to old Bobby Knox for being a real one. I wish more people would be like him. People make up reasons why they don't like me. Just to admit it, they hate us because they ain't us. And although this does sound a bit self-pretentious, it does hold some truth to it. In MMA, or life in general, if somebody we already dislike says or does anything that slightly bothers us, we'll be quick to point it out to ourselves or to others. But if a friend of ours does that same thing, we'll be much more inclined to excuse it. If you already hold negative feelings towards somebody, any misstep they make is magnified in our minds to an unfair degree. Our bias against that person will make sure we find plenty more reasons to maintain the distaste. Taking it back to the Adesanya example, in the lead up to UFC 243, Izzy's unnecessary trash talk towards Whitaker was likely one of his first impressions for many casual MMA fans. This created a silent mob of haters, ready to attack. As soon as Izzy had a bad showing against Yoel, they struck. It's not that people make up reasons why they don't like Izzy, they wait for reasons. When a reason presents itself, that's when the tides turn. This has been Lay MMA. But before you click off, it would mean a lot if you commented down below something you enjoyed and something you want me to fix in the future. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. It would help me out a lot considering this is my first video.